All right, today I'm gonna give you guys a detailed look at this uh, Pink Skulls Chaos Club. Uh, this is a reissue set, and um, yeah, so let's get into it. So yeah, uh, this is a, actually a very cool set. Um, the box itself can be turned into a stage. Uh, first you have the flap, and then you open it up, and there's a panel, and then inside here, um, there's a uh, LP, and then there's the lyrics, and then the, the figures, and uh, yeah, the, the box itself is uh, pretty hard plastic. I mean, uh, no, not the plastic, uh, hard cardboard. So you could uh, definitely put together the stage. You can see uh, the thickness of the cardboard. Yeah, so you could uh, definitely put the stage together and have that as a display piece. And uh, even the inside of the box is, uh, it's got a lot of stuff in here. Uh, there's a lot of uh, illustrations and whatnot. So yeah, it's a really cool looking box. And uh, you're definitely going to have a lot of uh, cool shots uh, out of this. Alright, so there are three trays of goodies in here. Uh, first one, the bottom tray has uh, all the all the, um, the bases. And then here's uh, some uh, three sets of stickers right here. Three sets of stickers right here. And then we have bandanas right there. And then we have t-shirts oh, right there. And then we have jackets, three of them right here. And we have this scarf. And then there's another t-shirt down here. And then here we have the foot pedal for the drums. Uh, here's uh, one of the drum piece. Right here, there's the big one. And there's the milk carton. And over here we have uh, three bags and uh, three translucent base arms. Alright, so here we have the middle layer. And uh, we have beer cans and then uh, effect pieces. Down here is a broken bottle and then two uh, bottles. And then uh, two necklaces. And then a lot of drumsticks. And then uh, so I guess they're smoking weeds. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of them here. And then uh, there's a bat right there. And then two guitars right there. A uh, AK-47. A, a bomb. The detonator lit up. And then uh, I, I'm not familiar with the drum set. So uh, there's that thing for the drums. And then um, here's a um. um manhole cover and there's the stand for the mic and then uh, I believe this piece is for the drum set uh, two wrenches and then a bunch of hands a lot of hands here and now on to the top layer we have the three figures right here and then uh, extra heads there's a lot of them there are um, a total of a total of three, six, nine heads total, and then three, six, nine, yeah, and then a bunch of hats. Some over here, some over here, and then there's a hockey mask as well, and then three of these, and a crown, and then three sunglasses, and then goggles. Yeah, so there's a lot of a lot of stuff here uh, for these three figures, and uh, the cause of this is uh, three hundred bucks. I think initially when they first released the set, it was 280 or 285 somewhere around there. But uh, this time around, uh, they added uh, a few more items. Uh, I believe the the um, the jackets. They added uh, a few more jackets on here, and uh, I'm not sure what else. But uh, yeah. All right. So here are the figures, and um, there are three bodies and nine heads. Those are the three. These three um, got. Oh, These three heads got uh, articulated mouth right here, and this, and this, and this, and then the ones with the eyes also got an articulated mouth, which would be these three, and then these three are just generic, generic uh, same facial expression heads. Um, nothing's articulated with these three. All right, here I got each of my hat. So here, this guy's wearing a crown. This guy's wearing a top. Well, this guy's wearing a. Um, I don't actually know what this hat is called. Here's a football helmet. So kind of cool. 
like that, three different characters. And then with these ones, I uh, give them all the same hat right there, and then glasses, goggles, and the hat. Just to show you guys what uh, these characters would look like uh, with different uh, accessories on. So now I think I'm gonna put the um, the um, 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 the the band together, the drum set, and uh, all the other accessories together, and show you guys what they look like. Alright, so this uh, set comes with an uh, instruction on how to put the drum kit together and uh, it shows right here. I know it's hard to read but I'm just gonna do it uh, on camera to show you guys how this is done. So the wrench, the the, the wrenches are actually uh, part of the drum kit. So you just clamp them on here like so. Uh, yeah, I think it's just for, for it to... Why is it so hard? Doing it wrong. Let me just double check right here. You know what? Let me double check. So there's a. Uh, it looks like there's a spot where you're supposed to slide it in, cause uh, uh, you kind of. It's kind of hard to see, but on the bottom here, it's a little flatter than the rest of the section, but uh, it doesn't really allow you to do that. It's not set on a specific spot, but uh, this is how it's supposed to look. Uh, it's supposed to be a base for it. I mean, yeah, the legs for the drum so it doesn't roll over. And then uh, this piece is supposed to go here. Yep. Let's just go here. Just connect this piece on here, and everything is on a. The, um, there's hinges on everything. Uh, well, it's just pegged actually. These things are all just pegged in. So you could rotate them however you want. Once you get the hang of it in there. Once you get these pieces in correctly. And then you just need to readjust the piece to however you want. Oh, this is, this is actually on the wrong. This is actually not right. This thing's supposed to go like where? Where this is supposed to be like that, and that piece is supposed to be facing down. Sorry, I'm having so much trouble with this. And so it's gonna go something like that, I think. No, it's not. Okay, so finally got that in. Uh, it's supposed to go right here, and then this arm goes out and up there, and then there's that kit that piece, and then the drum down here is a. Um, um, a ball joint here and there's a socket joint right there so it's just easy popping this in and there we go there's the drum drums right there and you set it down Oops. so you set that down right there and then this would be the, the milk crate is the seat for the drummer now this thing is uh, actually a little bigger than 112 scale because uh, well I don't know why uh, I think it's supposed to be a little bit smaller because uh, yeah when you when you're putting it next to the figure it looks a little big oh and then here's that foot pedal and it actually works look at that boom 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 so Okay, and one thing I don't like about this set is that uh, they didn't provide um, these figures with uh, hands that could actually hold the drum drumsticks. Um, you could kind of get them in there, but uh, the holes right here is actually too big for the drum drum uh, drumsticks. So they are very loose and they do uh, fall off easily. Um, uh, I think uh, they could have made a, a, a set of hands um, to hold the uh, drumsticks better. And those could actually double as uh, cigarette holding hands as well. So, but yeah, because normally I don't think drummers hold their drumsticks like this. So yeah, but uh, this is what we got. And so there's the foot pedal right there. And then here's the drum kit right in front like that. Pretty cool. All right, here I got the three of them all um, posed. And uh, here, the, the lead singer, it's also, also the guitarist, right here, so on to that one, and there's the mic, and he's also, uh, also got a gold chain on, 
and then here's the uh, bass guitar player there, there's the bass guitar because it only has four strings there he's also he also got a necklace on right there and then you already saw the drum kit with the drummer it's kind of plain but yeah very cool now uh, of course I didn't put it uh, uh, with the stage and everything uh, it's gonna look fantastic with it on uh, with them on uh, on the stage itself but um, here's what they look like very cool set actually um, yeah I don't know how well I don't know if most people are gonna display it with the box or not but uh, they do have backdrops for it so you can easily put that in a detail and then uh, with the three figures and the backdrop uh, in with it so you can kind of go like this and that's a great display too so yeah really cool set and uh, let me show the articulation of these figures I'll just show one of them because uh, they're all the same but uh, yeah this is pretty much what you gonna get but then with all the accessories you could definitely do way more with it you you could if you're, you're tired of the drum uh, try, tired of the band look then you could take those away and then just give them accessories and they could just stand together and then be a gang of three all right, so as far as articulation, head is on the ball joint, and uh, it has a really good range because there's uh, no hair to block it. Uh, so he can look way up, and then again, jar is articulated. And then base of the neck, there's another ball joint there, so full range head movement. So you could do any crazy poses you want with this guy, he's going to be fine. And then with the being cloth outfit, um, his arms are not restricted at all. So yeah, those are uh, ball hinge joints I believe in there. In there. Then uh, there's no butterfly joint, so you can raise his arm up uh, to a certain point because of the fabric. You just want to be a little bit careful with it. But this is cloth, so it should be fine. And then elbows, um, I believe is just a single jointed elbow. And it can give you 90 degrees. And then there's ball hinge wrist, so eh, every which way you want torso there's articulation in the chest and then I believe there's one in the waist as well so he can do crunch and he could arch back so yeah even side to side no problems whatsoever and here we have ball jointed hips he could raise his leg up to 90 degrees even though these are tight pants he could still raise his leg up which I am very impressed and then knee bent double joint will give you over 90 degrees and then there's an ankle joint it's a ball ball jointed ankle and uh, yeah so you can move every which way you want so yeah very articulated um, can he do dynamic poses uh, to a, to an extent because uh, torso even though there are two joints here it's not like highly dynamic like legends where you could fold his uh, abdominal section down all the way so yeah he cannot so yeah normal normal people poses he could do but uh, you won't be able to give him doing spider-man poses and stuff like that just don't expect that then the uh, jacket it is uh, removable but the zipper is very tight especially on the bottom right here and it does uh, uh, take a little bit of time to undo that so I'm not gonna go into doing that because uh, I'm most likely just gonna keep these jackets on the figures and then here there's a pink lining inside really nicely nicely done uh, Mesco they actually put pink lining in there wait no it's not pink it's orange why is it orange shouldn't it be pink yeah I, I would imagine these should be pink lining but no they're actually orange lining hmm it would have been cooler if they're pink I think and then there's a zipper shirt right inside I mean uh, uh, z zebra shirt with black and white and then on the side here is a logo of a middle finger on this side there's nothing and then on the back there's the logo PSCC and there's some uh, Japanese writing on the bottom yeah and there's a skull right there a pink skull really cool so articulation wise these figures are fantastic yeah never have had any issues with the uh, mesco stuff uh, knock on wood i won't have any in the future but uh, yeah I'll, one thing to 
be a little bit worried about uh, or just be mindful of the risk pegs because um, they uh, mine already has stress marks on them from pulling so I don't know how many times you could pull it before you could uh, before the, the peg section would actually rip right off so be careful with that I suggest uh, using a hair dryer soften up the hands before you pop them in and out yeah that that should help give your hands a little longevity yeah but uh, yeah as far as these fingers they're fantastic looking I actually prefer the one without the um, the yellow pupil inside uh, even though these are more expressive you can see the three of them are totally different facial expressions especially this guy where his eyes are almost closed yeah these are very expressive but uh, I think I prefer the ones um, yeah without the eyeballs uh, without the pupils and here's a look at one of the three sticker sheets Kind of cool. You can stick these uh, on the drum kit or wherever you want. Uh, these are really nice, actually. If you have more accessories that you want to add to this uh, set, then you could probably stick a couple of these on there and make it more um, in line with uh, with the with the tone of these uh, characters. So that's awesome. Alright, and here's a look with three of them on stage with the backdrop and uh, there's a lot, this is very busy, the background is very very busy, looks like there's a lot of stuff going on but uh, as you've seen earlier, there are just three figures with the drum kit and um, two people with the guitars and that's it, but uh, yeah, the, the, um, the, the, the backdrop definitely makes it really pop, well no, make it made it uh, really busy uh, actually nothing's popping because uh, it's just so busy right here but uh, it is cool to see very cool actually that drummer I mean the vocalist right there and I love the the bass guitar player right now the expression is just awesome that with the hat on and everything yeah on his knees really cool actually So at the end of the day, is this set worth getting? Uh, totally. Uh, it's gonna set you back about 300 bucks. Uh, I'm not sure whether this set is still available or not uh, since uh, they initially released it um, and this is a reissue. Um, so maybe they'll do another reissue uh, down the road or something. Who knows? But um, it's a great set. Tons of accessories to mess with and uh, at the end of this video, I'll post some photos uh, attached to it. Or you go on my Instagram page to take a look at them and uh, yeah so totally worth getting and uh, highly recommend this 300 bucks well spent so there you go uh, thanks for watching